Well, we finally made it to the end. We've made biochar, and now we're going to prepare it to put it in the soil. You don't want to just put it directly in. Biochar is a wonderful soil amendment, but it needs to work with the rest of the soil. So we're going to prep a little up here. With me is Joan Gussow, Professor Emeritus of Teachers College of Columbia University. So here's the biochar we had. We're going to make about a 50-50 mix. We need to crush it up first, but frankly, it's fairly dusty material. So let's pour enough water so that the dust will be contained. Good way to tell if your wheelbarrow leaks also. <laughs> so just chop that up. We want to get it not down to a powder, but we want to get it below the size of our thumb. It's amazing. It actually makes it dust even with the water. Yeah, and it'll soak up all this water because it's all it's a sponge. Yeah, the stuff that isn't, we got some stuff that isn't even wetted yet. So that'll get us going. Again, you want to chop it up a bit, and frankly, if we're doing prepping a large amount, we'd probably get some hardware cloth. That's the thick screen that's either quarter inch or half inch. And set that out and, and, and sieve it through there so the big pieces are retained and the little pieces fall through. Now let's add some uh, compost. Joan, is there any compost anywhere there around here? To be a giant pile of compost. Well, right here. Uh, could you do the honors? I will. So we want to add about an equal volume to this mixture of biochar that we've made. And that's what we're going to, right. that's good. A Little more water, it's going to get wet in the soil. We'll mix it all around. Uh, we're probably going to want more soil in this, but the feeling, the concept is biochar does not have to replace the soil. It's the best 10% of great soil. So the other 90% can be clay and sand and potting mix and compost, etc. So use the formula you felt works best for your garden and your crop. Add this biochar. It can be top dressed. It can be used as the whole potting mix. It can be worked down into clay and it'll make a big difference. Thank you for joining us today. And I also want to thank uh, Joan Gussow and Hugh McLaughlin uh, for their contributions to today's show. Hopefully you've learned a little bit more about growing food closer to home and we look forward to seeing you in our next episode.